What is up, guys? We are back with a new segment of what we're calling Going For It, uh, our football podcast here on the Junk Drawer Show. I hope you guys enjoyed. I sat down with Craig this week and we talked all things quarterbacks in the NFL. Uh, this, of course, is prior to Carson Wentz being traded because naturally we're a jinx. But I hope you guys enjoy everything anyway. Uh, check out the segments and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Well, continuing on with more quarterback talk, because this is the, the quarterback carousel year for real. Yes, yes. Um, it's, it's a fun year to be a fan, though, because quarterbacks, quarterbacks change. Every, look at what Brady did. Quarterbacks change everything if they're the big ones. Philip Rivers gone out of out of Indianapolis. Uh, Chicago has maybe the biggest tire fire at quarterback that I've ever seen. In a wasted pick in Mitchell Trubisky, and Nick Foles is a backup. He's, I don't he's think anybody's very good backup, but he is just a backup. And Carson Wentz is very upset with the Philadelphia Eagles, who I think are behind Houston, are probably currently the worst run franchise in the NFL, and with the with the money they spent on that team this year, I think you can argue that they are a worse team management-wise than Houston, um, just because they don't have a Deshaun Watson, but no. they're paying Carson Wentz like he is Deshaun Watson. Correct. And they're paying for the ghost of Deshaun Jackson. Yes. So, it, it, for me, it's hard pressed to say that they're run better than the Texans, no, but no, no. I making, think they're both just a tire fire. You're making really strong points because they also kill players. Ertz is an example of that. So these teams, there's a few teams in the league where there are great players and they don't seem to ever go anywhere. And I think part of that is poor team management, poor front office. You see the teams with the with the correct ethics and the correct like leadership structure. They breed talent. They grow it. I, I will speak to a moment about success in Miami. We've always been good at breeding talent. We just then trade it. We just then move it along and anything. It's West not Walker. like people get mad, but but they just kick them out. It's it's crazy that the Eagles are where they are now from what a Super Bowl three seasons ago. Yeah, three seasons. And it, and a near MVP for Carson Wentz. That's that's where we were, right? An MVP talked about caliber quarterback. He didn't win it, but talked about and was doing things, right? And then the Super Bowl victory with Foles. And now they're they're really bad in in the in a in a division that's incredibly winnable. <laughs> no offense. No, it's a terrible division. It's a bad division. Anyone could win it. I think Dak coming back healthy means Dallas wins it, but they should yeah, easily. They had problems even with him throwing for 500 yards a game because their yeah. defense was so very bad. Just Not so good. Bad. the poor guy was throwing up 42 points and losing games. You know what I mean? Didn't like, he? Didn't he like sit? He was out for like two weeks and still led the NFL in uh, passing yards for yes, a quarterback. Yes, did. Yeah. And and yes, he went I, off. You just threw salt in my wound. I had such a good fantasy season with on the backs of Derek Henry and Justin Jefferson. They were two of my savvy guys, right? In both of the leagues where I made the final, I had Dak starting in the beginning. Mm. But I still did good. I made the finals and whatever. I, I didn't win either, but I came in second. <clears throat> but anyway, da I'm high on Dak. The window is, is closing rapidly for the Eagles, to bring it back to your point. Because that division, they, they should have won the division last year. But it was just a, a mess. A mess of everything. Carson wasn't very good. Uh, isn't very good, I think, is Maybe where we're at now, instead of saying wasn't, I think we're in the, in the present, not worth the money. The, what the, the hottest top, uh, landing zone is Chicago, correct? Not is Chicago and in Indy because Indy was Frank Wright and he is now in Indianapolis. And that was the offensive coordinator, I believe, when Carson had his MVP season. OK, I did not know that. That's good new information that gives some. Maybe that's a good landing place for Carson, getting someone warm to him. Maybe My no concern with a Carson move is into Indianapolis or or even Chicago is this part. I'm not worried about the tools. 
I know Carson's got a good arm. I know he's mobile. I know he wants to win. I know that he's passionate. But David Carr showed you if you get hit enough times at a certain point, you get gun shy. Yeah. And has Carson reached that point in Philly this year, especially because their offensive line was a turnstile? And it's – is that something that he can get past mentally in order to continue to succeed in the NFL? Because that's, that's – a th- you're going to get hit. It's just yeah. going to happen. Him and Goff are both in this weird places in their career. They got this big money at the same time, I think. I think they both yeah, got – Yeah, I think they were one, too. The same year. Um, they were the same draft, I think, as I'm well. Look at that. I'm going to look at that. And – they both I know they both got similar money in the 120, 130 range. They're both of those contracts are looking like hot wet duties. And they're both not gonna be playing in 21 where they were playing in 20. I don't there's I, I don't see a scenario where the Eagles are and Carson Wentz remain dancing. Not when Jalen Hurts is at a fraction of the cost and wins games more. <laughs> you know? Like why you, you just gotta do that. I'm more now that you said what you said. I think the Colts make sense, but I, 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 everything I was reading was like it's the Bears. The Bears are going to continue their buffoonery, and because that's what I think he is at this point, unfortunately. False idol. Yeah. So, L.A. L.A. It's the 2016 draft. It went Jared Goff, Carson Wentz, one, two. Let me give you the next three picks, or four picks, and let me and and just tell me how bad you feel. For for LA and Philly? For yeah. Joey Bosa. I love <laughs> Ezekiel Elliott. Jalen Ramsey. These are and Ronnie Stanley. Yeah, these are studs. Yeah, that's a big miss. No but, doubt studs. No doubt studs. Bona fide. Bona fide leaders in the league at their positions. I mean, I'm I, I don't think Zeke is the number one running back, but he's in every top five conversation. And Carson Wentz is not in a single top five conversation, nor is Jared Goff. Yeah, man, that's stinky I mean, though. And Goff is the top five quarterback in Detroit. He's he's definitely in that conversation. <laughs> but but they could bring in uh oh shit, Tyrod Taylor, and who knows what happens after that. Yeah. <laughs> well, is is Tyrod is that gonna happen? I don't know. I I'm just throwing out some 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 smoke, but I, I think Tyrod, Tyrod could go to sorry. Detroit and like I love Tyrod. Fifteen different teams. Tyrod Taylor would be a better starter than probably half the league. He has incredibly bad luck. Just very very bad luck about the lung puncture. That then Justin Herbert is probably very good. Can throw a lot of the throws. A lot of the throws. He makes some bad decisions as a young man, but. And they didn't win a lot of games, but holy shit, can he throw? He can throw the ball. Tyrod got unlucky. I hope he gets another chance. He is probably better than both of those guys. I think so, too. Got and wins. You, he wins friggin' games. That's, yeah. I think, so That's much what more. he did in Buffalo. That's all he did in Buffalo was win. I, I think it's all he's done his whole damn career, essentially. They put him in. He wins games. They put him in. He works hard. He just gets a really, real bad luck, real bad luck. Carson Wentz and Jared Goff make me nervous for all the teams that have those early picks. Like even this year, Trevor Lawrence looks like a sure thing. Like everybody looks like a sure thing until they're in the NFL and then they're not a sure thing. You know, you have Lawrence, you have Fields, you have uh, Wilson. There's a lot of quarterbacks that are going to go in the first round this draft, a lot. It's going to be what? Minimum three, could be as many as four or five, I read, that that are going in that first round. They ain't all going to be studs. That's a guarantee. Yeah. You're and, probably going to get one one stud, and then you'll get a, a guy that's elite, but he's not a franchise guy. And then the other guys will be quarterbacks in the NFL. Quarterbacks. Sometimes. Some of them will hold clipboards for a long time. Some of them are going to get to start way too soon and just hurt. Just hurt. Like, I, I want Trevor Lawrence to be the guy. Like, it looks good, right? It looks good on paper. Does he it have does, it? It does look good. 